Hey lovelies, you know I just found out that when whoever took my car receipt that I had purchased my vehicle and submitted to the county um, and the um, and my those two bogus, well not bogus, but a debit cards that were closed accounts and gave it to, and I must imagine it's part of the property management too, and they submitted, they didn't have a one up on me, but it didn't work. So um, when they asked me about my, my car, and I was like, what? You know, I already knew it from there because I had my stuff in my drawer. And no one should have been in my apartment sleeping around in my shit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to go do what and what. But I'm going to put it in writing, you know, to these investors. Because I don't appreciate people coming to my shit, um, messing my shit, and reporting shit for what. You know, it's, it's been verified that my accounts are closed, been closed. Since 2021, if not 2022, the bank no longer exists. Number two, the other one, um, the online bank, whatever, as they said, as they knew, because they've been on my phone, whoever been doing it, is closed due to overdrafts. And then they come in here and stole my documents and my banking receipt, I mean, my car receipt, and submit to the county. So, and what is your problem? you just jealous? People are here in this place that are having roommates under Section 8. Roommates paying rent under Section 8. Come on now, please. You know, I can get many people in trouble if I really wanted to. I would see everything. You know, just because I'm quiet and I don't look like I don't do anything, I see everything. You know, and not even that, um, I was reflecting too that back in 2009, 20, was it 20, 20, 2011, 2010, somewhere around that area, I had a recertification with the, with the, with the county. And I did my paperwork. They were looking at me like, are you working? Da, 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 da. Turns out I left the place, got home, got good and comfortable. My worker calls me and asks me, um, are you working? Whisper on the phone. Uh, do you have two social security numbers? I'm like, no. And, then, I, and, I, and he, then he said something else. I said, oh, I know who this is. This is from my ex, the Nigerian. He, he went up there. He sent some documents. He should have been arrested at the time for, 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 for providing false information. He had said that I was working under the table. I got two social security numbers, and um, and that I shouldn't be on housing and all kind of bullshit, right? So people worried about me because they've been stealing. Like I said, they've been stealing what was listening for me. I probably have a trust fund, you know, because that's what the rumor is now that that was left for me from my grandparents, and um, and what my mom had left me that they all knew about because my ex was communicating with my brother. You know, I didn't know that it was so that tight. And that brings me back to wonder, when I first met him, he came knocking on my door with his friend. I was, work, I was working with his friend. And then he said, oh, meet my cousin. And the next thing you know, he comes to my place. And then my ex, the Nigerian, he comes leaving cards and flowers and shit on my door. And, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. He's, he's, he was persistent. And I didn't really be interested in that dude. But he had, he had two small children. I thought, okay, maybe he this and that and the other. My mom was like, well, why would a man want a woman with kids, you know? She's trying to tell me that he was he was no good. He, he, I mean, why did he, my mom would say, why would he get a woman with no children? Because my mom was trying to tell me that he's, he's possibly poss a pedophile, you know? And, you know, whatever. So that brings me back. He was the one who put calling my job. And that's from the 90s, calling my job and calling the welfare. And like my mom said, they don't want you to work. They want you to be in the streets. Homeless. Back then, my mom was telling me, but you know, I couldn't see it. Cause I was going through it, you know. Now they're starting over here in the other apartment complex, and then I didn't know that that him and my sister, my younger sister, born in the '80s, shouldn't have been communicating with him. We should have communicated with him because my mom was blind. They wanted to see my daughter. Um, they had a little party thing for her going to the military, and I didn't go. You know, they were conjuring up then. You know. These people are jealous of me for what? I'm doing my own thing. I don't talk to nobody. I might could if I really wanted to. I got I got shit to think about. My youngest son trying to make sure he's squared away and make sure he has a, a fruitful life. People are trying to interfere into my business and my life and my child's life. For what? You had your turn. You know? It's because the, you're barren. You can't have children. I mean, what is it? Because you have cancer. I mean, what is it? You know, leave me the fuck alone. And if people come to my apartment again, I'm trying to tell you, I swear to God. If they come here when I'm here, it's, it's a wrap, you know. And if they come here when I'm not here, it's going to be a wrap too. Because I had to set some shit up 
and I already know already. They, they took my my um my teas, put shit in it, and some told me don't drink it. But I said okay, let me just, let me just see. I boiled it. I tasted it. It's like poison, you know. I can't take my own medicine in my own place. I can't leave my shit on the counter and come back. Hopefully it's safe to take it, you know. I don't take none of that shit, you know. And if I do, I'll keep it with me, you know. See, see, like, like my mom said, they don't want you on this system. They want you off the welfare. They want you off the housing. They want you off of everything. They don't want you to work. They want you to be on the street. Because, see, my ex, the Nigerian, he's mad because I withdrew his petition. And see, I didn't know. He had a big court case and from Georgia. And he was in New York, too. And I didn't know this. My mom said, yeah, whoever he was with ran him out of Georgia. Like, Why would you come to Sacramento during the Olympics back then? You know, because the, 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 the Olympics was in Georgia. My mom's always wondering, she's like, well, how, if he's supposed to just got here from Africa, how do you know his way to drive from North Sacramento to South Sacramento? That's the South Side. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I didn't see it that way. I thought everybody drove. I drove all in Africa myself. So she was trying to tell me, basically, because she said, I know all these, these damn Africans. She said, <laughs> she, said, she, said, she said, basically, he's up to something. And he had two passports. That's what he was mad about. Because he, he had two passports under um what was his real name or whatever his name is you know fred white that's not his real name his name is azunka um, omikwi whatever his name is and then he had another passport said philip white and his picture but it's a younger picture of him he told me he's on the high seas and this and that and he wasn't some bullshit came through mexico whatever I, I didn't believe that shit at all and he was in georgia for a long time he left georgia and then his family didn't even want they didn't even meet me like the ones in Georgia, his mother, none of that. They talk, talk so much shit, but he was in my face. You know? He's a fraud. And then he married that other girl from Zimbabwe. I remember in uh, was it 2019, no, sorry, 1990, I want to say uh, 7, 1996 or 1997, he said, Oh, Tim, I met a girl just like you. She was half and half, like basically from America and then from Africa. I'm like, what? Working at J.C. Penney's or some shit like that. You know, he bought me a wristwatch and took it back and gave it, probably gave it to her. You know? These people are wicked. It started from him. So jealous. He was, so, he was calling everybody. I was like, I was always wondering, like, what the hell? You know? I was on my way. He said, how can you afford two cars? How can you afford this? I was working. I was working good, making good money. Taking care of my kids and everything else. He didn't like that. Calling the, the um, my other management people. This to come in. I didn't know. Those, I felt someone was coming in my apartment, but I had no proof. So I set up my camcorder. You know those big camcorders and the tripods. And I set it up facing the front door. Sure enough, I seen the man come in, changing the door. Didn't notify me nothing. Then the, the manager come in my place, looking around. And my at the time my sister was living with me at the time, my other sister, and she said, "Oh, this is a nice place. It had really nice. My plants, you know, it was clean. You know, I wasn't in a in a, in a, in a disarray." You know, because he was calling up there, so jealous, and he's the one who left. And then, well, cause it's what he did was he had an attorney, Mr. Stebley. He's probably dead by now. He just smoke a lot. And um, we went to. He said, "Oh, Tima, you know, let's get back together." And blah blah blah. And then his attorney at the time he was in Rancho Cordova. I said, "This is how far." You know, I know about. You know, I knew about Sacramento, but I stayed in one area. And then he went to his attorney. Long story short. And she, he was like, so, uh, so you guys living together? I said, he said, yes. And I said, no. <laughs> I said, he lived with his brother, supposedly. He was living, he was living with another woman. And he was like, kick, kick me under the table. And I'm like, no, you don't live with me. So we walked out of there, he was mad. He didn't say nothing to me. And then the attorney kept calling me and sending me a fax. But then, like, then we had fax, you know, machines in our home. Well, I did. And I never responded. And then I didn't even want to see his... Went to his attorney initially, his file was so thick. I'm like, damn. I thought I thought he just got here. He didn't answer me, and, she, and he opened the, the attorney opened the pages and showed me, him and my two kids like a family, and I, and I, and I told my mom about it. My mom said, yeah, but that's what they do. They they pretend that you guys are a family. They show pictures and that doesn't mean anything. And I said, oh my god, and he had, he had other shit in there from Georgia, and from New York. That's why when people in New York know so much shit about me. I was like, oh, okay. It's about you going to New York. And my name was always, it was in, in, in uh, Shuck and Daddy, whatever it's called. 
in New York at some warehouse. And it was at some school too. Some Russian lady or Ukrainian lady answered the phone. It's a bunch of shit. Now I see. So all the time, and then I, I remember uh, just recently, that was 2021, if not, all my so-called contacts or friends, they had these phones. Google, uh, was a Google something phone, Google Cloud phones. And they said, yeah, she's here, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, these are my people I said, hang with. You know, um, help them when they needed help. Gave them money when they needed, needed to help pay their bills. And they had these two phones, their phone and another phone. Even my ex from high school, he had a phone, another phone. And he would say, oh, Tima, you don't, you don't, you don't do drugs. And I said, no, who said that? He's trying to tell me something. Everybody kept saying that. You don't do drugs. I'm like, what? Who said that? I said, you should know me by now. So everybody had these, even at the shelter, they had these phones. Google uh, uh, Cloud phones. You know, even the girl, um, all, of a sudden, all of a sudden she stopped talking to me. You know, they're all involved. For what reason? Oh, she doing fraud. She doing this. Okay, prove it. Right now, they're, they're, they're trying to um, entrap me. It's not going to work. I'm smarter than that. You know? These people don't have no discernment, no um, intellect, nothing. And these drug addicts keep coming by, by my fucking door with these damn bikes blocking the walkway and shit, coming late at night, smoking that shit. Pretty soon, I'm going to go further than that. I can't breathe in this motherfucker. You know I mean, I have no peace. And that's what they want. They don't want to give me peace. They want to, you know, keep distracting me, destroying me. And how can these low lives, regular ass drug addicts, surveilling me? You wish I go to legislation. It's a wrap for them. I ain't I'm playing with these folks. I'm not playing. But anyway, until next time, you guys. And you know, that's my rant. And thank you for listening. And if you, if you feel compelled to uh, donate something, not only for myself but for my child, because school starting, matter of fact, tomorrow. You can send me a cash app to do me D U E M E nine one six D U E M E nine one six. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you soon.